Hello Rocket fans and welcome back to the Copenhagen Suborbitals Rocket Shop where we continue working on the world's only crewed, crowdfunded space rocket speaker. Today is December 7th and it's time for some rocket updates. You could say Christmas came early this year as we have a little present for you. Yes, we have officially started welding the first section for Spica's airframe. It is a very small part of the whole rocket, but it is an integral one. It will connect the liquid oxygen and ethanol propellant tanks, each weighing over a ton once fully fueled, so it will need to handle a lot of weight on its shoulders. And this is why we have these thick metal pillars supporting the top and bottom flanges. They were lined and secured with a threaded rod and some bolts at the top and bottom to tack weld them in place on the bottom flange, and later nicely in line with the top flange for full welds all around. Jakob spent quite a few hours behind a welding mask that day with Martin's help rotating the whole thing. At the end of it, it looked rather beautiful. Next step will be ironing it out with a hammer to make sure all the flange surfaces are flat before we put the outer shell around it and weld 60 triangular ribs for support between the flanges and the shell. If you are a welder in or around Copenhagen and would like to volunteer in the best hobby project in the world, this is the kind of help we like the most, so reach out to us if you are up for the task. And if you're a skilled machinist who thinks he or she could challenge Adrian's standing world record of producing 5.5 reaction control thrusters in a single day, come by and join us as well. Right now Adrian has made 16 different thrusters for testing various nozzle and throat geometries, all the way from tiny tiny ones up to really small ones. He also got a heavier compressor to test them at higher pressures. Up until now he has been running them at around 8 bar, when his current setup is rated up to 100 bar. So he pressure tested it with water again up to 60 bar and ran a few initial tests gradually up to 40 bar. It worked nicely and I'm pretty sure these smallest nozzles could actually cut through paper right now. Lastly, Bo was working on another one of his live simplification contraptions, a soldering paste dispenser. Soon we'll need to solder nearly 80 individual swirler elements for 4 different injectors for our upcoming hot fire tests on a BPM5 engine, so this thing will definitely come in really handy. If you're interested in learning more about the speaker's intertank section, we have an older video going into detail about it at the top right corner of your screen. And also don't forget to check out our previous video this week about the liquid nitrogen evaporator heat exchanger. And that is all for now, so as always, thank you for watching, supporting and subscribing. If you don't want to miss any of our future updates, make sure to ring that notification bell. And we'll see you next time when we're one step closer to space. Copenhagen Suborbitals is a non-profit all-volunteer project. The reason we are getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you've been following this project and feel passionate about new ways of exploring space and building rockets, you can help us out by going over to our website, www.compsub.com, and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation that helps us pay workshop rent and buy materials. And in return, you get all these insider videos on building a space program which you don't really get anywhere else. So on behalf of everybody at Copenhagen Suborbitals, thank you for your support and we'll see you next time.